There's one thing that brings back the childhood feeling of these long summer holidays, it's crayoning. But great as crayons are for whiling away a, a boring rainy summer's afternoon, they're not actually very satisfactory things. For one thing, they have this habit of wearing down. So that lovely uh, pointy bit soon starts going flat and then it becomes completely impossible to draw anything without going over the edges. For another thing, they have a horrible habit of breaking. However, technology has now come to our aid. This is called the eye marker. It's made by Crayola, the same people as these crayons. And it's a rather brilliant, I think, attempt to bring crayoning of all things into the 21st century. Now, of course, the eye marker depends on the iPad. What doesn't these days? We'll open up the special app which automatically goes into landscape mode which is very important. I'm going to choose a, an underwater colouring scene here. We turn the eye marker on. No messy marks on the carpet, no. So do you remember that thing when your best mate would use your favourite colour, the red, and it would wear down to a stub like that? You don't have that anymore because you've got all these crayon colours here, hundreds and hundreds of colours. Where is red now? I think clearly my best mate hasn't stolen the red, but I can't find the red. We'll do something in, in brown, because brown's a good underwater colour. We'll fill in this trunk here. And the sensation is exactly, I mean precisely the same as crowning. The look of the, the line on the page, everything is as it is. And although you, they make it so you can't quite go over the, uh, the lines, in fact, if you're too clumsy, you will go over the line. So it's not, it doesn't make it hopelessly easy for kids. Now, of course, being an iPad and being the modern age, there are some extras that go with this. Take a look at this. It's the picture which I've now drawn in crayon. You can animate. And there it goes, moving. And if you turn up the music, there's even some nice underwater music to go by. And of course, it's, it goes, it gets better than that. Let's just turn you off for a minute there. Press that one. You get a choice here. You can print your creations, obviously. You can email them and you can Facebook them. So if you want to, you can, your little one can be doing a drawing and immediately email it to Auntie Flo in Australia or stick it on Facebook. Now the technology behind this is really worth talking about because this is no small thing. If you think about it, how do they make it so that tip can transmit any one of several hundred different colours and you can choose crayon, you can also have a paintbrush, you can have a coloured pencil and so on. How do they make that work? Well, the secret is in the nib and the uh, system they've worked out which is where this transmits uh, different frequencies in what they call little taps, thousands of taps per second and depending on how many taps per second are coming out of the, the nib, the iPad screen knows to turn that into a specific colour or a specific style of drawing. But a fantastic piece of technology. It brings new meaning to the idea of leaving kids to their own devices during the school holidays when their own devices are actually iPads. Um, but I thoroughly recommend this one. It's good fun. Thank you very much for watching Technopolis TV.